Thinking about starting a new fitness or weight loss program? I've got a story you have to hear. I'm Lacey Green, a super trainer with body. I had a client who came to me because she was really frustrated that every gym or trainer she tried made her feel bad because she was a beginner. She had tried it all, but she just felt humiliated. And that's when we started working together, and I took her through my three-week program called For Beginners Only. Once she realized that she wasn't the problem and that she just needed the right program, she started to get results, and now she's completely unstoppable and feeling so confident, and I can do the same for you. On the Body app, subscribers lose 5 to 10 pounds consistently in their first month, and I bet you will too. And right now, I'm inviting you to sign up for a one-year subscription to Body, and I'll give you $100 of in-home fitness equipment for free. But this is a limited time offer for the next 500 beginners who want to get started. So to get your $100 in free gear right now, just go to Body.com. That's Body with an I.com. Again, B-O-D-I.com. With Lucky Land slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Not up against him. In a curious case, it was too. The time it's occurred in the Chamber of Horrors is Madame Tussauds. Madame Tussauds. Isn't that the uh, famous London Wax Works where they have images of all the important people living? Well, some of them are living and most of them are dead. A very old institution. The collection began at the time of the French Revolution and so many famous people were being sent to the guillotine. The original do so, I forget whether it's a B or a C, conceived the bright idea of making wax replicas of the illustrious heads as they were severed from their equally illustrious shoulders. And that's the way of the collection began. Nice, gruesome little nest egg. Hey, Dr. Watson? <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, a bleak March day was just drawing to its close. I was sitting beside our fireplace in Baker Street, sniffing appreciatively the odors of an approaching supper which was being prepared below upstairs by our very devoted landlady, Mrs. Hudson. Holmes had been gone since before daybreak. I was beginning to be a trifle worried about Holmes. It seemed to me he'd be looking even paler and even more emaciated than usual. And his nerves were decidedly on edge. Just the day before, when Sarah, Mrs. Hudson's cat, unexpectedly pushed the door open and walked in, in the hope of sharing, shall we say, our breakfast skippers, he jumped completely across the room. Yes, as I was saying, I was not easy in my mind about home. In fact, I was just cogitating how I could persuade him to take a holiday. And the gentleman himself rushed into the room, his shirt front torn open, and a nasty bruise over his left eye. Holmes, what's happened to you? I didn't hear the front door slam. For very good reason, but I didn't use the front door. No? No. I came over the rooftops. Oh, being athletic again. I thought from that black eye that you might have been in the fight. I have been fighting, my dear Watson. That's why I took to the roof. The interest you to know that this house is completely surrounded by the most awe-inspiring collection of bullies and rocks in London. So you're not about using bludgeons, as I found in my discomfort. Since the black eye. What did you mean one of those Russians attacked you? One? Watson, I had at least three of them on my back at one juncture. Yes. Uh, thank heaven to have the foresight to learn jujitsu at one time in my career. Why all this excitement? Who are these thugs? Uh, they're uh, Professor Moriarty's prized collection of rowdies. Professor Moriarty? He'll be getting in his way again. Does he intend to let you get out of this house, eh? Well, the country, my dear Watson. He didn't want me to get into the house. Not get into your own house in heaven's name, why? Because I have a rendezvous here with a certain lady. A lady you're very much interested in. I'm sure it's much simpler to prevent the lady's arrival in your own. On the country, my dear fellow. She will arrive with an escort of Scotland Guard's fungus, and with good reason. The lady is, um, Maggie Harewood. Maggie Harewood? The murderess? Yeah, there's always been, uh, considerable doubt in my mind as to whether she deserved that title. Surely you remember the case, Holmes? Truly gruesome and brutal crime it was. She was discovered beside the dead body of her husband, the hammer with which she killed him, still in her hand. Whatever the woman still smelled the telephone. The lady herself claimed she didn't remember committing the crime. And what did she say that? No wonder. But Holmes had not proven the trial. She'd been losing her red card and she didn't dare tell her husband. But she'd murdered him to get his insurance, which I understand is unusually large. And the singularly unintelligent job she made of it, bashing in his head with a hammer. No, 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 my dear Watson. It won't wash. Even the government had some doubts on the matter. 
That's why her sentence was committed to life imprisonment. So obviously, of course she was guilty. You know what, Then perhaps you can explain why Dr. Hellwood allowed her to pick him over the head with a hammer. She's a rather small woman, you know. Any ordinary man could have held it off without difficulty. He's a thief. And he's a thief. 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 He's some of the course of knowledge of his activities. And there, you know, in the early days of his career. Well, he was quite so well protected. Moreover, I have a strong suspicion that Dr. Herwood's insurance money eventually found its way into Professor Moriarty's covers. I can't prove it, mind you, but I'm practically certain that's the case. If you're what are you going to do? Two things. Find Dr. Herwood, who I believe is still alive, and find out what Maggie Herwood knows that made it necessary to remove her. How do you mean that she knows anything? You don't suppose Moriarty's having you watched because he thinks I need company, do you? No. She knows something that Professor Moriarty has determined I shall not discover. You've got him worried, Watson. Oh, confound it. What's keeping those men from Scotland Yard? They were due 15 minutes ago. Ah, there's the start now. Well, I wish you'd learn to ring that bell like a human being. Oh, Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose, what's the matter? What's happened? Where's the woman? She's gone. Disappeared. What do you mean, disappeared? Hey, well, we were bringing you here in the prison van under every guard, as you told us. Although why you wanted so many men, I don't understand. She's as likely as a thing. Any one of us could have managed to... Oh, great Scott, let's try it. Didn't you understand I wanted seven men not to prevent her from getting away, but to protect her? And now she's gone. Well, yes, yeah, she did get away, and she had plenty of protection while she was doing it. What do you mean? Well, we were just coming into the dungeon when we struck an icy stretch of road. Ice as smooth as glass. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Down yeah. went both horses, basically. Yes, naturally. Well, Grayson had a bad time getting them on the feet again, so I took four of the boys and went forward to help him, leaving Peters and Mapes to guard the Irwood woman. When you got the horses yeah. up on their feet and got back to the van, Peters and Mapes were bound and gagged and the woman was gone. Why, why, you might have been there yourself, Holmes. Well, it seems Peters and Mapes were standing there beside this Irwood woman, and Peters was just giving Mapes a light for his pipe when a voice out of the darkness says, Put up your hands! And be quick about it. And of course they obeyed. What else could they do? And, and then some more men steps out of the dark and binds and gags him. Then this first fellow goes up to the woman and says, Come along, Maggie. This is your chance. And she said, Oh, it's you. Uh, and when? Do you think she recognized him, Lestrade? She certainly will. Oh, Lord, look here, Lestrade. You've got to find that woman. You've got to comb the city for her. If she's not sure on her life, by this time tomorrow, I'll hold Scotland Yard personally responsible for her murder. Come, Miss Lucas. You've been plucking your hair up in the roots. Maggie Harold is perfectly safe at all probability. She's with someone she knows, you remember? That's just it, Watson. That's just it. Confound it. Why can't Scotland Yard find her? And that's been almost 16 hours now, and every minute lessens our chances of finding her alive. Yes, yes, but of course they'll find her. They're scouring in the nook and corner of the underworld. After all, no one can make the woman invisible. Why not? My husband disappeared in the thin air, didn't he? Now we have two people missing instead of one, and by heaven, I'm going to find them both. It's the last thing I do. Well, at least my office is moving his guards around this house. That's something. Yes, confound him. He feels confident that I'm no longer a menace to his safety. That's what annoys me. <laughs> It's a wounded vanity. Vanity behind. Ah! What's that moving behind the sofa? She's out. She's cut. She thinks she's talking to us. Well, she doesn't have to do us talking here, does she? Reminds me too much of Scotland Yard. No, no. She never manages to catch anything. Oh, get her out of here. Get her out of here once. Get her out before the last fight, sir. Oh, I do, I do. Yes, sir? Now it's the thing. Ah, that's right. Oh, the good girl, sir. But uh, don't forget your revolver. That is that. Very well. In the pocket it goes. I'm an air. Come on, Holmes. Bring out your rat. Steady, Holmes. Steady. He's on the ground now, sir. Oh, stop splashing. Convenient. Can't practice it out there. Oh, I should 
thank you. Surely you don't intend to walk as far as the docks? No, Watson, but it's safer in our position not to take the first vehicle that presents itself. We'll pick up one in Oxford Street. Um, is your becoming a suspicious? Which car? That breaking. It fell from the roof, Tommy. It pretty nearly hit you, Holmes. Right. And walk so close to the buildings, Watson. But that brick, I tell you, that just missed just the very nasty accident. There's nothing accidental about that brick. Huh? There's a little token from our friend, Professor Moriarty. Quite flattering, Watson. Quite flattering. I must say, Holmes, I don't follow. He still believes we're endangering his safety, eh? Just in cover. Watson, Watson, look out that dam. Clean it down the street. Watson, you're going away. Quick! They're heading front. He just said, keep away from the building. Sergeant, quick, quick! That was in a large wooden crate that fell as a man passed. It just missed your shoulders. Yes. Another little compliment. That crate, Holmes. Yes. You could have looked up, 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 where the boots, the boots sticking out of legs. There's a man in there. Hurry up, old fellow. We must get him out. Here, give me a hand with these boards. Yeah. 
Line the first window. That's the famous Charlie Peace, expert burglar confidence man. Now there was only a third line with him, which I wouldn't have you for. You look at the moon in the mouth, and yet they told me that a great company was into the men. Now, here are the next window, and that's Jack Burglar. Jack Burglar? Why, he looks like a bonfire. Skull man almost. Yes. He's one of the most cold blooded murderers in England has ever known. Here, in the next window, that's what we've come to see. It's made of the hammer murder. The woman lying unconscious in the bed, the bloody hammer still in her hand, that's Maggie Harewood. She's very nice to her. She was almost imagining that you could see her, really. The hammer. The hammer's fallen out of her hand. Let's get out of here. Listen, Wax. It's everything, man. Quick, Watson, quick. Don't go back to the window. That isn't the wax for you. Come. Maggie Harewood or so. No wonder Scott and Jack couldn't find her. What are they done for? Stand back. We'll soon find out. Yeah. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm not doing it. Oh, I beg your pardon, Mr. Dell. Get an ambulance, Gabby. Don't wait. He's in our box. Look out for the glass on the floor. Don't touch yourself. Yeah, I'm all right, Mom. Fine, sure. Casey. She's a woman. A living woman. I love a woman who is barely alive. She's been doped. Pardon me. She can't die. She can't watch her. And everything depends on her. This is Harewood. This is Harewood. Can't you hear me? It's me, Sherlock Holmes. I've come to help you. No, 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 it isn't. It can't be. But what to save you? You prove that your husband's still alive. Who gets you free? Yes, he's alive. I've seen him. Seen him? Where? Did you know where he's living? No. No, he's changed his name. Changed his name? Yes, yes. Well, what is it now? Uh, they call him Professor Moriarty. His own wife. So no wonder who he stopped he might know something about Moriarty. Yes, Mr. Benjamin, that's right. He's one of the that he set out to do. He found the woman. The husband is still alive. Mm-hmm. Thinking about starting a new fitness or weight loss program? I've got a story you have to hear. I'm Lacey Green, a super trainer with body. I had a client who came to me because she was really frustrated that every gym or trainer she tried made her feel bad because she was a beginner. She had tried it all, but she just felt humiliated. And that's when we started working together, and I took her through my three-week program called For Beginners Only. Once she realized that she wasn't the problem and that she just needed the right program, she started to get results, and now she's completely unstoppable and feeling so confident, and I can do the same for you. On the Body app, subscribers lose 5 to 10 pounds consistently in their first month, and I bet you will too. And right now, I'm inviting you to sign up for a one-year subscription to Body, and I'll give you $100 of in-home fitness equipment for free. But this is a limited time offer for the next 500 beginners who want to get started. So to get your $100 in free gear right now, just go to Body.com. That's Body with an I.com. Again, B-O-D-I.com. With Lucky Land slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. (gasps) No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.